Hey guys, so let's just, we're just going to go over some basic settings of what to do when you set up a switch on a Cisco switch, specifically the 1960 version. Now, the, I've got a list of here, things to do here. It's very, I'm trying to keep it very generic because it's really hard to t tell you what to do with the main setup. These are just the basic settings. So you want to give it a name, put no domain lookup, put passwords on all of them, all the lines, console, encrypt them, put a banner in it because, um, you know, um, banners will tell them if, if someone's trying to access your stuff and, you've, if, and if you say like, welcome, um, yeah, it could have problems. Let's not get into that. It's just set a banner saying, um, authorized personnel only. And you want to set the clock, yeah, you don't you don't really have to, but we'll set the clock anyway. And make a VLAN. So because you have all by default, all your switch ports are on VLAN one, which is the I mean, which is the default, which is bad. You want to move move it off the a default one and put it into another one, and put a password on it basically. Um, if we go through some of this. We won't probably go through this in detail because it gets very detailed. Um, you want to yeah turn off all the unused interfaces for security. You want people getting access to them. Um, yeah, put, put them all in different VLANs. Um, you also remember your gigabit interfaces. Um, I'm just going to leave those ones, but you can choose what you want to do with them. Usually, you would put a password on them or something, and put security on them or shut them down depends what you want and you want to set up the router based on the management via IP so basically that means so you can access them from any almost any computer which you want um, instead of direct line into the console like you see here on this PC and put a switch port security messages measures in and yeah, spot wrong but who whatever um, yeah, you put security measures in switch ports. Yeah, and put if you want put sub sub interfaces in, um, like z um, G um, zero slash one point five or something. It depends, and then you want to save everything. So this was this is a bit is getting into kind of detailedish kind of stuff. This is the mostly basic stuff. I probably missed a few things, but. This is the most basic stuff at the moment. Okay, so first of all, I'm actually going to connect to here, even though I can actually go into console. Whoops. Actually, I can go to command line here, but I'm just going to go through the PC because it's close enough for what you'd be doing. We have all this kind of stuff. I am going to go into terminal. Okay, I forget who cares about this stuff. And as you can see, I'm in the switch. I'm going to type in enable. I just type in EN because I'm lazy and you can um, set a host name so it's like host name um, S1 oops I'm in the wrong console you want to go config T uh, yeah also um, when you enter we'll say if you want to say, set up a basic so it will basically do the things for you if, with a prompt saying do you want to help with the setup you say no, you want to set things as you want to set things like I'm doing basically, entering all the stuff manually. Um, this is mostly for, yeah, more for you know what you're doing basically. <laughs> anyway, let's set a host name. So host n is switch one. Also, sometimes you can forget what things commands are in. I do too, it doesn't matter. You've also got a question mark. If you need some help, and if you do like banner or something with question mark, it'll tell you what's in it. These command, those commands help you do things. So um, let's turn off no domain. So it's no IP domain look uh, look up. So that turns off domain. Now. Since we're already config mode, we're going to put a password on the exact mode. So we just type in. Oh, so we'll make it um, encrypted version. So basically, 
enable secret uh, enable secret wait let's see <laughs> so I mean enable secret um, let's call it Cisco because yeah of course we'll do a Cisco and then you want to go into line con zero um, so, so that's basically the console in which I'm in at the moment as you see on the screen the blue one the console um, anyway I yeah so basically that's line con zero let's put a password in all you have to do is password we'll do Cisco obviously oh yeah and we we're gonna have to go back here because what I forgot to do was to log in. So sorry if you're following this directly. So I'm gonna go into exit. I'm gonna set the passwords again. So I'm gonna go never see that password and then and you log in. So whoopsie. Um, so basically I forgot that one too. You need login for the other one. I, I'm totally messed up this video. <laughs> okay. So Oh yeah, up goes in, up shows you the, your things that you, up is like the history. You can also change the amount of history in it. So, you just set the password, Cisco, and then login. You don't need to set a, set a login for the um, exec mode bit. <laughs> and once that's set, we're going to go into all the VTYs. So, we go type in line, VTY. Let's just go 0 to 15. Um, so they're basically all the ports, basically. And we're going to put the password. Um, port Cisco. Now, also, guys, um, don't just name the password Cisco like I'm doing. Um, that's how I log in. Um, also, don't, yeah, don't set the password like Cisco because um, they're really easy. That will be everyone's first choice, <laughs> as you can see. So change it to like something more difficult. So once that's set, the main passwords. Also, there's probably more stuff you can put passwords to, but we're not going to get into that. We're just going to do the, some of the basic stuff. Obviously, there'll be heaps of stuff missed in this video. So make sure you Google what stuff needs to be into the switch. Now, let's set the MOTD. Okay. Um, since we're already, we just basically type in exit. So now we exited that one. Let's put a banner type in, in banner MOTD. And then you want to put this hash. Then we'll say authorized personnel only, but I'm too lazy to type that. I'll just say um, personnel only. And you will get the idea. But, um, yeah, and that, that sets the banner so when you want someone's login, it will pop up with that message before they log in. Um, put some detail in, like um, like keep security measure kind of stuff. Yeah, you don't, basically don't let, you don't want anyone without personnel uh, authorization only, basically. Now that we set the MOTD, we have all not have to but we kind of have to set the clock well we don't have to yeah okay so it's just clock um set hours let's just put in then you got minutes then you got seconds and then you can put this one's kind of different you can type in like the date or anything i just put in like the third april 2010 oh there's a problem here Oh, of course it's of course it's wrong. I'm in the wrong configuration. You do this in, in um, oops. Uh, you do this in um exec mode. So it's like clock set twenty hyphen zero nine hyphen zero one three April two thousand ten clock set now. We're gonna, um, so basically that's most of the stuff. Um, we have to move everything, all the VLANs in. So create a VLAN, like VLAN, 
Um, ten. Oh, wrong configuration mode. I can do. I get get this wrong sometimes too. So you want to type. You want to get into. You type, make a VLAN. VLAN ten. Give it a name. Name. Uh, management. And that's the that's given that a name we named it, <laughs> and we have the VLAN. So that's pretty much it for adding a VLAN now. Let's we'll get, move everything over and then we'll switch everything off and then basically save it. So let's just go end. And um, brings you straight back to the exact mode. Now let's um, bring all this stuff over to the VLAN. So we type in int uh, VLAN. Oh, actually. You can just type in int um, management. No, you can't. Okay. Uh, wait. Um, this is I mean the wrong config mode. Config mode. Con ft on config. I thought I prefer conic config t, but that's okay too. So, basically, let's um, move the switch ports over to the VLANs actually. So you type in int, um, uh, you type in int, so interface um, f0 slash, let's just do 2 to 24. But, so basically, oops, what am I doing? 2 to 24. So basically, I'm just leaving the interface one in case I want to do something with it. But you can also do easily do like interface one. But I'm just doing two because I want to. Okay, and you enter it. Oops, you have to get rid of these. Ah. Fucking commands all over the place. It's int range. F0 is a thing, and now let's um, put everything over to VLAN, all the other VLANs. But I'm pretty sure the switches are, are turned off the VLANs. So let's try it anyway, I guess. So what we type is switch port access VLAN 10. You can also type in um, access VLAN management, what we typed is, I believe. So so these switches aren't turned, these ports aren't turned on. So we're going to show you how you shut them down anyway. Um, so basically they're all moved over. That's all you need to know. <laughs> so last thing, last two things, and then this video will be probably finished. So let's... Um, So let's uh, shut them down. So, kind of like the switch, switch range, you want to switch the whatever switches you want to be off, which is not used. Let's say, since we move them over, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's okay, move them over. Let's say I don't want to use ports as six to eight. So I want I don't want them anymore. So I just type in shut. So as you see, they're down. They're already down, but okay. Um, so, also you just type in no shut if you want them turned on. So, let's exit this and let's save the configuration. So I think this is in the wrong config. Hopefully I'm in the right config now. Okay, so you just do copy, run, start, enter. Everything should be configured, I mean saved. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, those are the most basic settings. Um, obviously, there's heaps of more things I could have missed, but these are just the most basic ones possible. There could be more de in the detail. I recommend you Google it. There's a lot of type of updates and stuff that happens. And, yeah, Google what, what it is. I've only given you some basic settings. And see you guys.